Oh, hi. Welcome. It's Friday again, and it is another Conan Exiles uh, community stream. My name is Jens Erik. Joining I me, am Natasha. Natasha. Hello, Exiles. Hello. Awesome. Uh, so, we're back again after uh, cancelling last weekend due to stuff. But uh, we're Un here now. Unforeseen game development stuff? Yes, unforeseen game happens. development stuff. <laughs> that is the nature of the beast, of course. Like, sometimes... Sometimes things get shifted around and you have to cancel stuff and you have to stay there help, for a while. Help get feedback and stuff. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, in case good you're night. in one of those countries. Let's do the whole, like, Truman Show spiel. And, uh, Where's Boris? Yeah. Who's Boris? I have no idea who Boris is. <laughs> Hello, Cristiano. Hello, Troublesome. Troublesome. Hello, N -N. Cristiano. That's what it says. Hi. Hello, Torikotaro. <laughs> Sorry. We have Chris Rages on Mixer. We have Tweaknuts. We have Sir Schnee. Tweaknuts. I was not hungover. I do, well, I, do, I do drink, but I don't drink on Thursdays usually. Okay. So. Tim Stein. Ooh, tons of people. Panzer Battalion. Oh yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, so I'll give up. Sure. I'll give up. Hi everyone. Um, all right. What are we doing today? Uh, what are we doing today? <laughs> Jesus. Doing this, stuff? this is going off to a really great start, I feel. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to re recap a bit what's been going on uh, recently. We're going to do a quick community showcase. And then, uh, the thing you've all been waiting for, uh, we're going to basically run through the uh, the Eastern Kingdom pack. No, that's not what it's called. Nah, it's the Imperial it's the East Imperial Pack. East I have pack. no idea why I keep messing those things up. <laughs> the Imperial East Pack, aka the Kitai DLC, yes. which I know a lot of you have been looking forward to. I've been looking forward to uh, revealing it and talking about it myself. They're um, already talking about your shirt. I got this shirt on the internet, so just just search for for this phrase. And you'll find it. See, that's I knew the, they'd like the shirt! That's the reason I'm not wearing my geeky shirts on stream, because then chat is just gonna talk about our t-shirts. Well, then... Like, that, boring yeah. black shirt. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Silent Storm, Joel still works at Funcom, but uh, since we're not talking specifically about like game mechanics and like big updates, uh, you get the two of us instead. So, uh, deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, what websites do, you get my t do I get my t-shirts from? Uh, a lot of them. Just... Just, you know, Google nerdy t-shirts. Um, yeah, uh, QWERTY, I get them QWERTY from Threadless, uh, Fangamer, a bunch of different There's stuff. Bob. There is no Bob. All right. Um, so, what's been going on? Hmm. We've been uh, patching consoles a bunch of times to do hotfix updates, to do crash fixes, to do exploit fixes. Which should, by the way, the ones that we patched today, since someone just asked about that, Thrall resetting bug on single player. I assume you're on console. Um, just the name just went by Mixer. Mixer question. Yeah. So the Thrall reset bug was patched on PC already, and it will be patched or has been patched uh, on Xbox One now. PS4 hasn't been patched yet, I think, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. So PS4 will get it as well, like in about an hour or so, I think. We rolled out a uh, an Xbox patch an hour ago. We just rolled out a PC patch, like, right now, while we, uh, while we were starting while up we were the stream. stream. So that was fun. And uh, we're rolling out a PS4 patch, like, super soon. Yes, um, correct. Yes. Nicole should be in the chat, I think. Or maybe she's out to lunch, and th this was just bad timing. But no. We don't really know. But no. But, uh, <laughs> hopefully Nicole's in the chat. Right. Um, so, we uh, removed uh, the thing that everyone was using to give themselves all the stats, basically, all the attributes. We've been uh, fixing uh, yeah, a couple of exploits, crash fixes, all that kind of stuff, both for PC. Uh, we had the giant, uh, the 500 changes patch, as we call it, uh, roll out on Tesla the other day. Which we basically would be really thankful for uh, feedback on. If you're testing, um, make sure to give us feedback on the forums in yes. the test life patch. Uh, this PC patch that we did just now was not the big one. That is no. on that is on test life right now. You will right. you can find that on on test life, um, on the test life branch as it's called. Um, and some of you counted and figured out that hey, this isn't 500 changes. That's because like we took a bunch of them and sort of collapsed them together. There were over 900 <laughs> lines in there, like that. There were over 900 lines yeah. before we started <laughs> editing. So the thing is, when we write our patch notes, 
sometimes we take like for example there, there could be 10 things that's all like fixed animation for creature fixed animation for other creature fixed animation for third creature we just pull those together to go like animation fixes for example and that's why there's not like specifically 500 of them but there, and there are like okay. there's stuff happening on the back end that players might not notice immediately which we then remove from the patch notes that's how it is basically I feel bad for whoever had to type all of that out. Well, that'd be us, basically. Well, Nicole is working mostly on it. Like yeah. Those, but generally, it's us. It is, it is us in general. Yeah. Um, at, least, like, at least making it like more easy to read and understand. So, yeah. Like, let's just... Translate let's, it from dev speak. Let's just say it takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay? It's fun, though. I like doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And we can, we can add little Easter eggs, like, like yeah. the one with the faces and stuff. So yeah, it's that's really good. Um... For the latest PC patch, not the, well, latest, quote unquote, not the one we did now, but the one we did before, uh, we added in whitelisting, we enhanced target locking, we did more exploit fixes, display racks should now be working as intended, and uh, we also added, uh, we worked with Gportal to add side casting, which now, so you should now get a, like, a message to all servers basically saying, hey, we're patching in five minutes, we're patching in ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you should, you know, run to shelter so you don't <laughs> run to shelter so you don't die when we take the server down. Um, there's still some things that need to be worked out for the side casting. It's not working on every single server, unfortunately. But yeah. uh, both ourselves and G Portal is on the case to um, figure it out. Uh, okay, please provide us with feedback. Please provide us with bug reports and uh, all that kind of stuff and we're working on you know further implementation of player feedback we're also like we're reading everything you guys post we might not be able to answer everything because there's a lot to go through yeah, um, but uh we do our best all three of us sometimes andy helps out too and there's four of us so we're uh, yeah we are we are reading stuff and we are like considering what to implement what Definitely. not to implement etc yes um, uh is there any question uh, purchase, there are still being fine-tuned as well, like they're still not really working as intended, they still need some fixes, we've <clears> patched <throat> in some things already, um, but there's more coming. Yeah. Yep. For, um, I think PC has the latest version of the purge, and then test those, live. Test yeah, test live has the latest version of the purge, and then those things will come to, to consoles eventually. Alright, moving on to what I like to call community showcase. Right. Thanks, Sonic. Is, we are fun. working on that. We totally understand that those are frustrating, those crashes and disconnects disconnect on the Xbox specifically. Um, and they are working on it, really. We have been collecting some additional feedback today as well on the forums, and they're working hard on that to, to improve on that, that side. Hmm. These aren't working for some. <gasps> no. Murphy. Murphy's Law. Murphy's. Freaking Murphy, man. All right, then, I think. Regarding the voiceover uh, request, yeah, we, we actually made um, a little sticky in a suggestion forums, which hopefully we can do for PC, Xbox, and uh, PS4 issues as well relatively soon to keep you updated. So there's a suggestion sticky where we kind of get feedback from the devs on the different suggestions. Yes. So make sure you check that out as well. I think actually I know what have happened. <clears throat> oh. Well, that doesn't... Minor technical snafu on my part. It's a feature. For which I apologize. There we go. See, there it is. Oh, works nice. fine. Now it works. <laughs> <laughs> now it works. All right. Um, personally, I really like building in this game, and I really like to see what people have made with our awesome uh, building system. So there's no oh, hashtag. I agree. Yeah, I agree. And so, first up in our community co showcase is Fred XX520, who sent us this uh, amazing pirate ship yeah, that's that just... he built. Uh, he sent us this on Twitter. And weirdly, pirate ships is something that people, well, maybe not weirdly, but... They really like it. Yes, people build a lot of pirate ships yes. in the game. I especially like how he used uh, the banners to be used as sails, mm -hmm. basically, and how, like, you know, walls are walls, and the it's sta just a stairs design. is a gangplank. And this, this is just like, I mean, come on. You have, like, the Kato as, like, this, and the elephant is the, the ship figure, or whatever yeah. it's called, and the dragons on the side. This is just... I really think, I don't... Yeah. I speechless this right? is amazing and it's not just a surface thing because he has decided to uh make 
you know, fully make the in <laughs> yeah, full furnishment and with like full captain's quarters and crew quarters and all that kind of stuff. And I think it looks, it just looks amazing. It's and just the, the amount of detail and, and it's just like all those little details and I like the bowl and the one of those like the, the pot on the bottom like on the floor there it's like on on the side of the bed it's kind of like yeah. a, a pea pot what were they called I don't know what called. Like um, so many people in chat are talking about their orbs being gone please go to our forums read the patch notes you will see why yeah. that is all we'll have to say about that <laughs> because yeah in general this was mentioned in the patch notes in general um we get a lot of input on Twitter, um, and it's really difficult to answer everyone on Twitter, even though we want to. So it's if you feel to like, <laughs> yeah, but um, like our official forums will always have like the latest news and like collection of information and announcement and things. So make sure you also check out our official forums. Right, um, Beowulf. Uh... The lock on has been enhanced on PC. That is also coming to consoles eventually, so that it will target enemies and not clan, mem clan members. If you are playing on a private server, you can turn down the um, uh, friendly fire damage setting like all the way to the bottom and you won't do damage to your clan members. So there's a fix for that. All right, uh, moving on to... And really fix server lag. That's an ongoing, um, <laughs> that's an ongoing like, what's the term? Um part of development yes. that the tech team is constantly working on. You know, that's very complex. Like it has to do with loading times and performance and and like how special processes are calculated on the server and so on and so on. So there's an ongoing process, but it will improve. Yeah. Like it's improving constantly. Yep. Uh, next up, I do believe this is someone called Athena on Twitter who sent us this that's amazing so pretty. Yeah. home. Like they said that like this is my uh, Nordheimer it's like, base. It's not. Also, I think she's like much, my little. It's not that much. Yeah. I think uh, the person was going on Twitter. And I was just thinking, like, look at this, all those details. This is just so pretty, and yeah, it's not always about the size. It's not about the size. Her words, not mine. <laughs> anyway, that is so pretty. I mean, look at this. It's like just the, the attention to detail again. Yeah. With the the flower, like the 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 the, the herb pots, whatever they're called. What they're called again? The big thing, uh, the the trees and stuff and the herbs and things. The planters, you mean? Planters. Yes, that's the term. Yeah, I also like how they use the different kinds of roofs to like get mm -hmm. a nice contrast going. They use different kinds of building pieces. They use yeah. different kinds of materials. I think it looks looks really really. I just always wonder, are are you guys like? That's a, that's a question for chat. So if you're like building like intricate things like this, are you actually planning it out or you are just going like, well, oh, I'm just going to start and then do something? I've seen like, I've seen some posts from people where they have like a tool with like triangles and squares where they just like map everything out. Right. But I think in There's a lot of mods. There's like really cool mods yeah. where it gives you like yeah. But I think in a lot of cases it's just like putting like placing stuff out. That's how I yeah, do this it. this might look good here. That looked fine. I want to stare it there, oh, and they're like, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put it there." <laughs> yeah. See, everyone says they plan it out in uh, single player. Plan John Bain, hey player. John Bain, shout out to John Bain, one of our uh, one of the amazing YouTubers oh, yeah, who covers Bain. our game. He goes by Straight Fields. Thanks for your videos. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, uh, if you out. haven't seen John Bain, uh, check him out on YouTube. His builds are amazing. His videos mm -hmm. are really fun. Uh, so uh, shout out to John Bain for wing sticking it. with us. Some people are planning it. Some people are winging it. Yeah, wing it structures on like look nearly as nice as those oh i see <laughs> so maybe it's it's like you if you have like such intricate buildings you on settlements you probably have to plan it out yeah yeah um kitty tv mentioned something about uh ddos attacks on official servers uh like again it's something that we are working with uh, g portal on like they will they have access to our servers to their server stats we have access to the server stats and when we see that there have been uh ddos attacks we of course take it seriously uh, if you have you know, if you have specific servers where you know that this is happening on, like, please get in touch with us on our forums, on uh, Twitter, on Facebook, on, you know, wherever. And we will take specific looks at, at those servers to see if, you know, we find any evidence of it. Because, you know, we don't want people DDoSing our servers. No. That's kind of shitty, to be honest. Obviously. I think that's bad. Obviously. I think that's really bad. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Uh, final one was sent in from uh, Clement again on Twitter, who's made a nice like dragon uh, castle, which of course needs all oh, the dragon wow. heads for every single all those dragon heads for, for every single gate. Wow. And now I 
I really like doing the whole like head is that trophy. A PvP? Is that a PvP set settlement? It looks like. I am assuming that this is a PvP or a purge, like anti purge settlement. Anti purge. That looks like very fortified. It's not something that you feel like you could close without getting completely stomped immediately. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd try to raid this unless I had <laughs> yeah. a lot of explosives. <laughs> Me, or I, I, an army. Oh, yeah. that's pretty. Also, they have this really nice, lovely, like, longhouse yeah. for a chieftain. And Look they at can... that! I yeah. just, I'm a sucker for, like, these little, like, these pretty little building things with, like, so much attention to detail, specifically in sides. <laughs> Like all the bubbles and and candles and and uh, that's something I would love to visit. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. That's I... something we should do anyway. Yeah, we go should... to someone's server. Yeah. Oh yeah. Visit absolutely. you guys. Like you should like tweet your settlements at us and send us like an invitation to visit you on stream live. Yeah, L Natasha loves RP servers. Confirm. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I definitely do. Yes. I'm a hard. I'm actually. I'm used to be a hardcore PvP. I just don't have the time anymore. So now it's more RP. <laughs> who, who does have the time? We're adults with jobs. Vabier in this. Well, yeah. Well, he, <laughs> he's he's a special case. Shout out to Vabier in our Yeah, hi Vabier in our our hardcore <laughs> Conan XS PvP. -er. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna jump into what everything everyone's been waiting for. We just got an invitation from Sean Bain. There we go. First invitation. Did we? Oh, okay. sweet. I'll DM you on Twitter. Yes, we absolutely want to do that. We we've been we've been we've been blah, 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 can't English say we've been discussing visiting uh, private servers and checking out settlements yeah. that people are very proud of, and then like live on stream that would be really fun having them show us. Yeah. And um, uh, oh, I'm being told <gasps> that the DLC is live on stream. You can buy it right, right now. now. Ah. Right there Pff, now. So yay! Awesome. So oh, I guess you can turn the stream on now because cheer of the... dance. So okay, that's it for now. So you guys just bye. Go and say bye. No, no, just, no, no, I'm just kidding. Forget. <laughs> right. Um, since this is what everyone is waiting for, I just thought we would yes, uh, let's show jump some, right into the game. Some pretty stuff. Yeah, I'm actually gonna turn off um, some pretty new stuff because the other stuff was too. Let me turn off this thing and yeah, there we go. So Kitai DLC. Or uh, the Imperial East Pack, I'm not going to use the wrong name, I'm just going to try to not use the <laughs> well wrong done, name. Well done, sir. Well done. Gives you three sets of armor, I think it's nine new weapons, Correct. like 20-ish placeables. Well, it's and eight weapons plus a shield. Actually. Eight weapons plus a shield, yes. right. And, and uh, a whole buttload 25, of building pieces. 25 uh, placeable, placeable? Yes. Tons of new stuff. And we figured we'd show off some of it. Um, there should maybe already be a video up on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash funcom, that shows off some of it, but if you still want to hang out in the stream, feel free to do so, and then we can do. go through everything. Uh, okay. So, three pieces of armor. This is the light armor, which is called the, uh, the Thai mercenary uh, armor. I'm just going to turn off uh, thirst and hunger as well, so I don't die while I'm in here. Which is, you know, it's a you know, light armor. It looks like it's made out of leather. I really like the details on like the cracked. Like, you can see it's kind of cracked here on the sides. You can see where it's been stitched together. Do server owners have to purchase to? No, you don't have to. It's just like, I mean, you can purchase it and then make the armor for your friends and for everyone else if you want yeah. to. You don't have to, you don't need to buy it for it to be available on your server. Yep. Like that will Not happen. That will happen automatically. But if you want to spawn it in with the admin panel, mm. uh, if you want to like craft the stuff, then you have then to you buy need it. need to have it, yeah. Basically. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the details on this stuff and our character artists have done an amazing job at making this stuff look, you know, realistic and I Eastern think so too. and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I um, really agree. Right. PS4 patch should be out probably in half an hour approximately, maybe an hour, yeah. hopefully. I think maybe we're still, still waiting, waiting for search. Yes. Yeah, we're still waiting on search. As soon as it's through search, we will patch. Yes. Uh, always in asks what is best in life, and that is to not attribute Conan quotes. Uh, no, wait, that's not to your attribute Khan. Genghis Khan quotes to Conan the Barbarian. Yes. <laughs> um, also, what is it? Uh, red meat, uh, red wine, and uh, living life and being content. That is best in life. I'm mangling that, the quote really well, badly. I have no idea what he was saying. Is that Conan? Did that he, is Conan. That? He said something like, if life is an illusion, then I am equally an illusion. Oh, right. Like, basically, he says, I think, therefore, I am. Yeah. Um, 
but he doesn't mind, then he'll just like he'll he will eat he will live his life, he will eat food, he will drink wine. All right, I see. He I will see. make love with women, he All will good. fight people, and then like once he dies, he just dies and that's it. All right. All right. Medium armor, which is the uh I believe it's called the captain's armor. Can we see the female version? Uh oh. not in this thing. Oh, you made a male. I made a man. I made the I would have made a girl. Also. I made the primordial skullet. Look at that head. <laughs> I love this head. It's amazing. Anyway, that's the medium armor. Yes, this is the medium armor. A bit so of a color cute. change, a bit more like dragony, fiery kind of thing going on. Which I think is really, really awesome. Uh, I agree. And then finally it's the Imperial Armor, which you know goes oh, so full shiny. full metal samurai. So shiny. Yeah. Look at this. So and pretty. I really like the um, like first of all, I really like the the sort helmet. of like the dragon's ears mm -hmm. thing on the helmet, mm. the dragons on the shoulder plates, and then especially like the, the lion head on, on, yeah, the, on the breastplate here. Mm. And of course, like, yeah, everything is shiny because it's gold. You can see where the threads are interlocking everything in the armor. And I think this is a really, really cool, cool thing that we've, that our character artists have made. I agree. Fantastic job with that. Absolutely. Because they're it... amazing at what they do. Also, the shine on it, like when you stand close to fire or torches, it's just so beautiful. It's like so dynamic as well. And, <sighs> and also the physics on the armor. Oh, it's blowing yeah, it's good. It's, and the, what, it's good class physics. What I love about it is that it feels heavy too. Like, yeah. Like both during like now in the wind and also when you move in it, it feels like there's a weight to it as well, which I love. It's like yeah. attention to detail. John Ben says the armor all around in this game is so well done. Thank you very much. Oh, we're so happy to take that. Back Shout out to, to Jenny team. who may or may not be watching. She, and all the other and everyone else too. who made all yeah, of this stuff. The whole art team, you guys are fantastic. Yeah. absolutely and, amazing. Um, Freaking rock stars, man. That's not all. I'm gonna strip this guy mostly naked. Ooh, man boobs. Because you also get war paint. <gasps> Those are cool. Nintendo Switch. And it's <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk to Nintendo about yeah, that. Yeah, we, we have nothing to say about the Switch version <laughs> at this point. We're focused on, on these three versions, and that's yeah, more let's just than make, enough. Yeah, let's just work on this one. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we also bad, added a bunch of new uh, different kinds of war paints. Uh, these are all decorative because you already have the different stat changing yeah. war paints already. Right, so, this is all, all non functional. Yes, they're non functional, yes. correct. Yeah. We don't want to give players an advantage by. But I really like the way they look because Me they're too. they're very expressive and there's a, there's there's a lot more going on than in some of the more some of the existing um, war paints. Yeah, that they we cover have in the more already. more surface yeah. in general as yeah. well. And um, Jenny, who made this, I think was uh, like very adamant. Uh, no, not adamant. No. She was very fascinated by uh, blackout tattoos. Yeah, like which basically like cover an entire tattoos, yeah, yeah cover the entire portion of your skin with just black paint. Fuck so Mac version. I love that. And so a lot of this comes from that. I think this also looks really good so because it's, it's yeah. very like glowy, magical. It looks like a dragon, like yeah, wrapping around your body. Yeah. Um, Remember my my Lord of the Ri Lord of Rings online? No, um, Izo, Elder Scrolls online character. She right. had a tattoo all over her back, like a dragon thing. Uh, the webcam is not picture-in-picture picture because I didn't want to cover any of the UI while we were playing, so, like, why we're in the corner there. Oh, um, yeah. I'm covering everything. And then the <laughs> Dreams of the East, which covers That's my neck, favorite. I love that one. Like... Why is this your favorite? I don't know. It's just something about having, like, this full covered area on the neck, and then, I don't know. And also the, the sleeves, the arms, like, having a, a cover here, like, a big area and then nothing and then an area again. I'm actually considering having something like that. I think it's right. really cool. My favorite. Uh, Milbon, what is it with the fix for crafting throws program reset? That is on PC, I believe, on live, and then it's coming to consoles. But eventually. it has been patched in Xbox already today, and it will be patched with the PS4. Is it? Yes. It's in with today's console patches. Okay. If it's not working, uh, let us know in the forums. Yes. Um, someone says that our mic might be muted. I don't think so. I can start singing. If people start leaving <sighs> and freaking out, then it's definitely working. Uh, right. Uh, what is the logic in the game? Uh, in the game PvP? But um, why not give endgame equivalent? Well, we wanted to give people something that would, you know, 
give them give them more stuff give them more like uh, it's important for role players for example to be able to clothe their characters the way they want to hmm. and so that is why we decided to do the cosmetic dlc that's why we decided to uh to add armor that's of a similar tier to everything else however like you can still i'm just gonna show this in the admin panel there are still like epic versions of this armor there are also exceptional and flawless versions like these things with the tiny um uh, purple square around them like these are the epic versions these are like the end game versions of this armor but we wanted to we wanted to do this so that you're not you're not buying power you're buying something that is essentially on the same level as everything else yeah it's also because someone just ask why do you sell a dlc that is that's not something for end game but that's exactly the or for high level players like, that's like exactly the, the, the point is that no this isn't for end game this is for everyone yeah you shouldn't yeah. get an advantage by yes. it Cheers. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, the microphone works again. Okay. Sweet. Thanks for letting us know. Just gonna clothe myself again. And of course, uh, you have all the weapons that you, you would expect. Sword, two-handed sword, which looks really, really nice. Any chance of character? Yeah. Okay. Character change after you made your character. Right. So. Um, on the official forums in the suggestion category, or like in a suggestion forum on official forums. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a sticky that uh, we made which covers some of the suggestions that come up very, very often. Um, that's one of them. So they are looking into it. Um, I mean, it, you know, it'd be really cool to have, but it's always a question of how much workforce do we have available you know yeah. besides bug fixing and everything obviously and, and performance improvement and, and, and stability issues yeah um so it is being discussed so but yeah that's sticky you should probably check that out it has a list of known suggestions that we took to the dev team and got some feedback on the mecha mecha mechanic balancing part is still missing that's because we're still waiting for input there but it will be added as well yep. which includes like you know looking at vaults and and, and rebalancing armor and things yeah uh all right uh maces shields obviously they do what they always do which is go through armor and sunder people um he looks so fierce now look amazing. at his face and it's so beautiful the armor um warhammers of course uh spears which look really cool with the sword tip at the end there and of course um that was a really nice angle the bow yes. is really nice too the bow is really good the axe have you shown the axe yet i have not shown the axe mm. i was going to do that right now <laughs> <laughs> all right javelins throwing axe so basically you get a full set of weapons which are iron tier and there's also a uh, star metal tier of them that you can craft later and they have similar but also slightly different properties to what's already on the star metal tier to balance it out of course and um, because you know we don't want people buying power and all of this is also locked behind certain levels so like a level five character won't be able to make these uh, weapons uh, even if they buy the DLC because you know balance all that stuff. War Axe which uh, is uh, really nice Nice, uh, lots of like really cool details. Let me see if I can get a good angle on the stuff. Alex Monroe asked something that I just want. I wanted to answer this question. I, I, can we just scroll up quickly? Yes, I can this do that. Question something. I want to ask, answer this question. Mm. There he is. Um, yeah. The orbs. We already mentioned this. Yeah. If you go to the forums and if you check the console patch notes, you will find that we had a problem with an exploit that people were using to duplicate orbs they were basically using it to duplicate mostly stacks stack stack stacked weapons but orbs like were the specifics yep. um this was happening on pc and it was also happening to a slightly lesser degree on consoles uh, so we decided when we patched this on pc that we removed players orbs in order to combat this hotfix because people had been giving themselves thousands of explosive orbs and so we figured that's not fair for rating we know it like, I'm going to be honest, we know it sucks for the players who got all these orbs in a fair manner, who mm. grinded their butts off. That is unfortunately the, the nature of the beast. And so when we moved this same exploit fix to console, 
due to technical reasons, we couldn't remove the same script. So we ran the same script there as well. That is why the orbs are gone. And like I said, I know this sucks. I know it's not optimal, but that is the solution that we that we went with. Are there and, some giveaways, by the way? Uh, we can do that. I just need to pick up the thing. Um, but yeah. Um, also, like, we're here to showcase this thing. We are not ignoring the chat, but like, we yeah, take no. weapons. We weapons. Yeah. We take questions <laughs> as we see them. Yes. But uh, we're not like actively trying to ignore you guys. Like, yeah. we're, we're welcome, trying to focus Alex. on this thing. No All right. Um, giveaway, I guess. I'm just gonna bring up the uh, bot oh, here first. So we figured, you know, we can do like a tiny giveaway thing. Yes. Just gonna, uh, and um, unfortunately, this will only be for uh, uh, for the Twitch chat. But we uh, we're looking into different ways of doing giveaways on Mixer. Yeah. Like right now, it's That's not optimal because, unfortunately, we're not always able to get a hold of the people who win our giveaways on Mixer. Uh, so like right now, this is just going to be a, um, a uh, Twitch giveaway. No, that was a poll. That's wrong. You said that. Um, there we go. So if you are in the Twitch chat, if you type in exclamation point raffle, then uh, you will be entered. And then we, we will we will draw a, draw a lot, basically, anyway, uh, afterwards. Some of the building. What? Uh yes. Ooh. <laughs> and now the <laughs> now night has fallen. Oh yeah, is... let's just freeze time right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> when you purchase the um see there we go. Chat yep. goes away. Oh, uh when you purchase the Kiton well the Imperial East pack, which costs ten dollars, nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. I'm just rounding up, so it's nine ninety nine. You get access to the you get access to the Kiton artisan table. And hey, there you go. <laughs> Everything's good. Awesome. And so, like all the building pieces, oh, all the placeables all the will be will be right here. I'm Look gonna at the go. Shade cat. Uh, right. I think building pieces. Yeah, all the building pieces will be unlockable right here, where they cost the same as something of a similar. They, um, they also have a little mark. Um, they have like a specific icon that might you might have seen that already. Yeah, um, the, that the marks orange it as glow a DLC. behind here. Yeah, it's the same with the um, uh, it's the same with the Conan armor and the Conan, uh, the right. Atlantean sword. Yeah, it's the same basic thing. And so uh, everything in here is uh, stuff that you can make, and it's uh, like it's variations on stuff we already have. So it's like tables, it's bowls, it's chairs. Lots and of placeables, though, like unique yes. placeables, like the Jade the Dragon, for example, yes. which I love. I really like the Dragon Idols, the Cat Idols yeah. are really good, all of these, like, bowls and the drums, the Catan drum, which I believe makes a sound. Yeah, it does. When you, yeah. when you hit it. Um, I'm not sure if this Zheng makes a sound, but I really hope it does, because that'd be I don't think cool so. to just sit there and... All right. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to jump back into Mubot, close the raffle, and... We should have like draw a winner. Delabre! Delabre! Congratulations! Congratulations on winning a You are uh, the brand new award of the Eastern Eastern Imperial, Imperial, <laughs> Imperial See East. you're doing it now. Imperial East That's Pack. That's embarrassing. Right. Sorry, Thank you so much for following us, by the way. Yeah. Uh they're following us on Twitch. Congratulations. And we're going to announce them as a winner in chat. Congratulations. And I'm just gonna remember to write their name down so I know how to get in touch with them. Uh, we're gonna DM you on Twitch uh, right after the stream, and uh, then we're gonna send a key your way. So, uh, congratulations once again to Dalla Bray. And uh, yeah, um, yes, I'm just Wee. gonna have a bit of coke. Use an approach fix on test lab doesn't mean we can expect for it to work as intended after the update. Uh, after, in well, theory. In, uh, well, it will, but it will definitely be improved. I'm not sure if it's. If all the fixes are on test life, I think there's still some more fixes that need to be patched on test right. life. They are in a different like development branch right now, but there's what? improvement coming constantly. <laughs> Tom is Tom drinking. Is drinking. I, I knew it. Is, am I Tom? Who's Tom? Is it you're, me? You're Bob. Tom. You're I'm, everyone. I'm Jens. I'm Bob. I'm Bob, Boris. Tom, I'm Tom. Boris. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have the uh, legionary statue or Kitom uh, door. I really love. XX. What message is that? I don't think they call it in chat right now. She might not be. 
All right, so we built this uh, uh, nice yeah. pagoda-like structure here, primarily for the trailer, which uh, should be up on our um, should be up on our YouTube channel. If not right now, then pretty soon after the stream. But is dual building plans? Yes, I can talk about that later after I show yeah, off some of this. Uh, unfortunately, the interior is a bit uh, it's a bit empty, but uh, we're gonna grow up go up into the second floor so you can see some of the stuff going on up here, and like. You will see some of this in the um, uh, in the, the DLC trailer. You will see some of it in uh, screenshots and stuff that we've mm -hmm. uh, put out. I'm just gonna write down. Ooh. You can try to see if you can play on the instruments now. Um, we won't hear it though. Actually. No, we won't hear it. But maybe someone else will. Who knows? And uh, we also have a nice little gazebo out here. Super pretty. Which I is love also that one. really yeah. really cool. Especially with all the lanterns and the, the nice lighting here. So, um, this is basically what I consider just to be some kind of like council meeting space where everyone sits around in a circle. <laughs> like yeah. Everyone sits around in a circle and just like so talks to each other. Should we raid? Like in that scene should, in Lord of the Rings. Should we raid tomorrow or should we just go party with our enemies? These type of meetings. Exactly. Yeah, those types of meetings. I will partying. All right. Anyways. We were asked about dual wielding. Um, Yes, there is a version oh, of... Oh, we didn't show the 200 X? Didn't we? We did. Well, there aren't 200 X. Well, there is no, no, there's no, there's only a 200 sword. There's a throwing and, axe. Uh, 200 there's a throwing axe, which I have in my left hand. War, war, war axe. One. Which great, is great really sword. cool. And then, of course, there are the javelins, which you can poke people with, or you can throw it at them. In theory. <laughs> Anyway, um, so dual wielding. Uh, there is a version of dual wielding that is currently ready for our internal testing. And I've spoken about this in the uh, community newsletter, which you can find on our website, conanexiles.com slash news. And basically the way it works is that certain offhand items, uh, like for example, the throwing axe, but also the shields, will affect what kind of combos you do if they're paired with other weapons. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so, for example, uh, this means that, like, what I've seen in motion, at least, I'm, like, maybe Oscar will come running down the door now if, if I'm spoiling <laughs> things. So, for example, right now, when you're using, uh, when you're using the War Axe, like, you just get, you get the normal you get the normal four hit combo when you do the heavy chain and if you want to use uh if you want to use the throwing weapon like you just throw it and then it's gone from your hand when we add the version of dual wielding and offhand attacks that we're thinking of uh what will happen is that your heavy chain will change and for example, if you have if you have the throwing axe, if you have the war axe, like you will start to spin around and basically do a bunch of tiny attacks against your enemy, like pop, 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 right. after it's one another. Completely different combos. Yes, the, com the combo you have, What you have in your offhand. Yeah, and that will make you vulnerable to counterattacks because you don't have hyper armor in those specific cases. But you can also do a lot of like you do a lot of like tiny damage points like over time, and then like you stack bleeding and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for example, if you were to hold a axe and a shield, you don't do the spinning attack, but you will do a sword bash, not a shield bash with your shield. It's the same when you're, uh, it's the same when you're wielding a, a sword and a shield. For example, mm -hmm. we add, okay. we add like a knockback with uh, the shield bash, and so it's, a castle. <laughs> it's basically to create more options for players in combat, and uh, like. More other play other ways, yeah, too. other yeah, ways to play, play essentially. Yeah, because exactly. uh, right now, the only like the only sort of true dual wield weapon that we have are uh, the daggers, and like the daggers are super awesome. But for example, uh, with with the throwing axe, like all you can do with it right now, it's just throw it away. And we want to we want to do we want to expand it. We want to do more with it, basically. And there were some more questions that I just thought about again. All right. Because it's too fast, too much chat. I mean, not too much chat. Uh, YG Lol has been asking this a uh, while now. Um, we need an option where you can see clan events on the map. Would oh, be that's great. the one I wanted to. Yes, it's also on Hit the it. suggestion <laughs> list. It's also on the suggestion list. That's on the suggestion forum. 
Uh, we are actually looking into that. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, Jesuil asks, what tier are the building blocks from the DLC or are all tiers included? There's only one tier, and that is tier three for, for these particular building blocks. So they are the same, uh, they are the same tier as the stuff you get in Master Mason. So it's the same as the reinforced, uh, stone and black eyes uh, reinforced. So all of this stuff unlockable at 30, same as Master Mason, and it gives you tier three protection. And it will be the same for uh, for later DLCs as well. Um, Health yeah. Miss um, was just asking a question about the pending connection failure, which we have just been connecting a few more additional info today from the forums. And I think the devs actually feel now they have a good, like, they have the information they need. They're, they have been looking into it. So hopefully we do have some progress there very soon. We know yes. that's very frustrating and we apologize for that. Absolutely. Damn, bear. <laughs> Wait, that's a friend of yours, right? Yeah. Yes. That's my Twitch channel. Is he emotes. spamming your emotes? That's my emotes. <laughs> He's using your. My, he got a warning. For, he got oh, a no. warning. He's, he got a warning. That's not allowed, says so Moobot. <laughs> Don't do it. No so, spamming of emotes. Mm. Even if they're mine. Don't. Even, even if they're cute. Right. Uh, Harden brick to reinforce steel. Um, yes, correct. Harden bricks, shape wood. So, three news, we cannot talk about any other content than the one that we have to finish first, which yes. is taming system, the the dual, like the new combat system. Um, yeah. Dungeons uh, are coming as well, which we hopefully can say more about very soon. Yes. And I uh, just sent a message to, I think, both Twitch and Mixer <laughs> uh, with a quick link to a blog post, like where where you can find the things that we have um, things that we have announced already like with the the dual wielding the additional um, yeah exactly Good. additional god avatar jabal sag yes um, the dungeons yeah etc oh um yes uh, natasha does stream not as I much used to. she used to yeah i don't have time anymore well that, yeah that's... i don't have time anymore. <laughs> i wonder why that is hmm. yeah i wonder why that is <laughs> um nails if you want to go through shields i would advise using a mace or an axe, because they are meant to rip through shields. They have a sunder effect, which destroys shield or goes through shields. And if that's not working, then please tell us, and we will uh, fix it. Um, yes. Uh, Beowulf is asking if the DLC is on Xbox right now. Um, it should, in theory. However, uh, it is being rolled out incrementally mm. on the Xbox Store, right. which means that it might be available to some people, but not everyone right now. And it's supposed to be rolling like, um, rolling out over incrementally over hours. the next 24 hours. Yeah. So that is uh, unfortunately something that we couldn't, uh, like, it we was slightly out of our hands. Yeah, we don't have any... Um, um, it has to do it. with caching and updating and all that. Yeah. I don't know, that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it will come out, and it should be available to Xbox players in about mm. the next 24 hours. It is out now on PC, and then I believe the PS4 version should be getting it in around 10 minutes which is <laughs> when awesome. six o'clock uh um yeah that is that should be six o'clock uh norwegian time right uh, chat, uh... chat box on console rough eta we're still uh considering like how much coding time and dev time it will take to add yeah. chat boxes to console i know it's it's taken a while but it's um yeah it's actually i know it feels like something that's very easy to do but there's so much Backend stuff uh, that has to be taken into cons consideration with requirements yeah. on Xbox and PS4, um, and and like when it comes to filters, like um, swear word filters and all that. So it's actually not as easy as people might think it is. Yep. So it's not that we're lazy and don't want to do it. It's just a way of how how can we do it? Yeah. Fine. yeah. Uh, Chaz Evansdale says, "Are you adding stacking to throwing weapons? Please do." Okay, so we used to do that. But what we discovered was that, let's say you had two javelins, one of them was broken, and the other one had like 50% left in durability. And then you combine the two, suddenly you had a stack of two javelins that both had, I think it was like 25% durability. So the durability system and the, the stacking, like essentially they weren't compatible. Yeah. Like you could sort of, you could fix, you could repair weapons without actually repairing them. By just combining stacks with each other and that's not great <laughs> so we we essentially rip that out 
So I'm going to talk about the, how big the, the development team is. We're between 40 and 50 people. Yes. Actively working on Conan. Yeah. Doing all kinds of different things. Like, yeah, I mean, that's different teams. Like, yes. That's the art team, the tech team, that's bug fixing, Vanguard, the, the ones that design dungeons, Joel and writing and <gasps> design. And... Mm. Yes. Yes. Uh, Solri 3 said avatar going to deal damage uh, 100 times more than other avatars. Uh, that is something that's on our list of things to do. Yes. Joel has said that he will get to it when he has time. And uh, Oscar. And Oscar. Mm. I think both of them, maybe. So that is also something on our uh, list of things to do. Right. Um, <laughs> I think you guys make a lot of people eat their hats if they have any. Thank you very much, XXLCB. We really appreciate the kind words. It's really nice of you to say. Uh, X Master Blaster, Mounts and Sorcery. Uh, we're not commenting on that right now. No, we have to. We want to deliver like the things that we promised. Uh, we talked about first and then... Eventually, yeah, like we in... might be able to talk about additional features yes. if, if there's something to talk about. How much coding does Conan himself do? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to break we this. Could... I don't know how to break this to you, so I'm just going to say he's, it outright. He's, uh, not, he's, he's not, not working real. for us. He's not and real. He's, he's also not working for us either. Yeah, that's true. He's busy attacking like planes <laughs> and Roombas. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, he's yeah. not real. <laughs> um, yeah, he is not okay. real, unfortunately. Right. Uh, will there be new custom or procedurally generated maps at some point? Let's let's run around. Oh, well, maybe um, we can no, like we don't have any plans for procedurally generated maps. Like the map is, the map is what it is. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Jens, what about this big area right here? <laughs> to which I will reply, we don't have plans to add more to the map. The map is what it is right now. Um, so there aren't any new biomes in the works, essentially. But there are new dungeons. There's going to be at least three new dungeons, which we said, yes, three new dungeons located at various places across the Exile Lands. And, uh, there, and will... there will be new arrows, yes. They're yes. coming with the uh, updated archery yes. system. I'm just going to see if I can climb to the top of this thing, maybe. Mm, Here we go. Going to... uh, oh, uh, we will talk about the pet system, like in more detail once we have actually also yes the the okay to show you guys i think maybe we can do like a tiny update on that uh the update right now is that it's still being worked on it's something that um isn't quite ready for internal testing but once it is like of course we'll start working on it it still needs um it still needs some time basically to be finished for for our internal testing yes especially testing yes and then once that is done, like we will, um, like once we have something to show you, we will definitely show you. But until that, but until that happens, like we st we're still gonna keep it a bit close to the chest, uh, essentially. Mm, when are you going to fix rating? Um, if you are talking about vaults and like balance in general, that's being looked at definitely. <laughs> I feel like Mulan's about to jump out. Uh, that is a different property, but hey, maybe you know D Disney. If you want to work with us, just you know, call us. We'll, we'll make it happen. I know they shut down their video game production uh, arm, but you know, if you want, just, just call us. Just call us. Just get in touch. Yeah. Glad you're having a blast at Check the Fever. Uh, have you seen Car Arnold's final Conan movie? He wants to do, but they shot him down, and he's up in their age now. Um, Fix the purge. I know they talked about like a third Conan movie, but I don't think it's going to happen. No idea. Because uh, I'd watch it. You would. I mean, I I didn't really I didn't really like the Jason Momoa movies that much. I yeah. really love the old ones, the original ones. Yes. Even though Jason makes a very sexy Conan, I'm just <laughs> gonna say that. Anyway. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we can answer a couple more questions, yeah, and we're gonna let's do it. then we're gonna sign off. Let's do it. Uh, <sighs> someone said they pushed it with Terminator. I agree. Uh, how, how about, about the thrall resetting their progress? Yes, that should yes. be fixed on PC. And... It's fixed on PC and we patched it with the Xbox patch and the PS4 patch. I'm not sure if that went out actually already or it's supposed to go out at least later today. Okay. It will be pitch patched. <laughs> it will be patched there as well. Yes. So if it doesn't work, please um, our official forums and give us feedback about it. But it should be patched. Yes. Um, do... Sassy Fat Man when? Who? What? Next time when? Oh, Joel. <laughs> Sorry, Joel. 
That's so not nice, chat. Joel is such a nice, sassy. He is sassy. Though. He is very sassy, man. He's sassy. All right. He's um, definitely not fat. Uh, to the role players asking about um, the uh, the VoIP in the game, that is also something that we're voip, working voip, on um, taking care of. VoIP, VoIP, VoIP. Yes. Again, suggestions. Um, there is a suggestion sticky in the suggestion forums, which will update as we collect your feedback, uh, specifically with feedback and input from the devs yes. uh, on the issue that we hear the most and that get brought up the most. That yeah. also includes VoIP. Yes, uh, wait, wait. we know that it's something that people really want. I definitely know that it's something role players want, and uh, like I have put it in my suggestion document and talked about it a lot. But it's uh, like right now there are a lot of um, server crashes and client crashes that still need fixing, and in a lot of cases it's it's the same people who are working. You put on, on some armor. You know, it's the it's the technical people who are also doing uh, the VoIP stuff and then the crash stuff, but. It is um it is on our to it is on our list of suggestions. We know it's something the community really wants, and uh, let's do another DLC thing before we another DLC giveaway before we sure. stop the yes. stream. Let's do that. All right. I'll see for for more a few more questions. Um, I'm gonna reset. And then once again, if you are in the Twitch chat, we've opened up another Good raffle. Luck. And, Good luck, everyone. Uh, rip the chat, I guess. <laughs> <Rip> <laughs> <laughs> and uh we're gonna we're gonna give away another dlc yes because uh we're feeling uh we're feeling generous uh, generous yes Thank and you we love you guys much. that's true that that's amazing too. and uh, I'm gonna just, uh yep there we go <laughs> Chat's Woo! Going crazy. Raffle. Raffle, raffle 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 snake no that's bad sugar yeah, that is bad <laughs> but i feel like saying <laughs> raffle 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 over and over again gets is... old no, it's the sort of thing that. Um, what am I thinking of? It's the sort of thing you say when you're trying to be. Oh God, that looked weird. When you're uh, <laughs> when you're an extra in a movie or something, like you oh, just go rap, 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 because it sounds like oh, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. talking. At Actually, the same time. Rob, you say Barbara, Barbara. Oh. I used to play theater, and that's what you get turned. If you're like just supposed to be somewhere in the background, mm -hmm. or if you warm up your voice, you're supposed to say Barbara, 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 Barbara. It's like one of those Barbara tongue. Losing your tongue tactics. <laughs> All right. Like random fact of the day, right? It's good to know. Good to know. Yeah. See, snake. It's a snake. Ooh, snake. A snake. <laughs> Can I get a few more controls? What was that about? I just. Uh, it was for thralls. All right. We were actually having that on the suggestion list as well, and it's being discussed. Having uh, awesome. aggressive and defensive. Oh, Cryptic Escape. I, I bought it three times for me, my wife, and my oldest kid. Wow. My Holy God, crap. thank you so much. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you, you so much. Are you playing together? That's so cool. I, I think that's so cool if families play together. Yes, absolutely. Like, have their own server and have, like, whole families playing together. This is freaking amazing. Yeah. I love that. That's so cool. All right. Chat's slowing down, so I'm going to close the raffle. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> And the winner John. is John underscore NS. Congratulations. Thank you so much for following us. Wow, he's been on Twitch for 10 Shoes. years. He's been on Twitch for over 10 years. Holy I didn't crap. even know Twitch existed 10 years ago. Uh, that 2008? was back then. It was that just was just in TV. TV. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're old. Well, that's awesome. We're old. Congratulations, John. Thank you for following as well. Uh, we're gonna DM you on uh, Twitch once this thing is uh, over and done with, and we will uh, send you a uh, lovely DLC key. First steam. Right. First steam. Yes, they will. It's all steam. All right. Yeah. <laughs> John no, says he feels old. old. No, Sorry. don't. <laughs> don't do that. Don't don't feel old. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, Justin TV. Good Probably much, right. much older. Um, any news on more RP elements added into the game? I'm. I think we've added a lot of RP elements with just. What there's we've never done enough. now, but there's you know, there's never, never enough, enough, of course. But we wanna, we wanna try to there's hit that enough. balance between, you know, uh, being for role players, being for PVPers, being for PVEers, and all that kind of stuff. So, so it's um, it's a bit of a balancing act. But uh, you know, I think that with all of this stuff, like role players who who are into like you know, decorating their stuff and like sending us screenshots and all that kind of stuff, like this is, wow. Jolan S says that he was a moderator for Anarchy Online's Java chat. Oh, wow! That's impressive, Deep man. Cut. Oh, wow! That is that's old school. That is nice. That and old is school. very old school. That's super awesome, though. Holy yes. shit! Wow, wow. that Thank is you. so good. 
That's really good. Thank you for sticking with us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I was just thinking the same. Wow, thank right. you so much. Uh, okay. Um, can we get where we can put trolls people, and players, players in, cages? in cages? Nah. Unfortunately not. Like, that is something people keep asking us about. Yeah. And we've said it a couple of times already that um, to capture players, like, we need to make it fun for both players. Yeah. Like, we, we need to and give not, you, if you're the player who uh, has been captured, we need to give you a way to get out, basically. And then, like, if you're just knocked out, then there's nothing that's happened, nothing happening. Like, yeah, that's it's not, not fun. That's for, not fun. Um, I mean, in general. I mean, I remember playing Ark and being shot being with the clear. Trank darts. And just, like, sitting there, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm knocked out now for really? 10 seconds, for oh, 15 no. seconds. It's like being stunned in PvP. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun at all. Yeah. Um, but we, oh. it's something that we wanted to do. And I can't say for sure if it's been nixed completely, but it it's a mechanic that we need to think more about. Basically. Any plans on showing other players debuffs? Yes. More on that later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You will in the future get to see when you're debuffing someone, and you will get to they see how that I, looks at a later I date. Can, but yeah. we will we have that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Me no get stunned. Okay. Alrighty. Oop. Oh, that was right. <laughs> Forgot to turn it off. We trigger are professional happy. after all. Trigger happy. Trigger happy. Yes, very trigger happy. Okay. Uh, we're gonna chill, head out, and I think now, in theory at least, the DLC should be available on all platforms. So on PS4, on PC, on Xbox. It's good. Yes. Uh, if you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, please follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Conan Exiles, Facebook, facebook.com slash Conan Exiles. What else do I need to see, say? Um, oh, yeah. We should host someone. We should host someone. I should also mention that uh, we have a uh, fan art and fan fiction. <laughs> 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 your your arm was right there. So was, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we have a Sorry. fan art and uh, fanfic contest yeah. going on. Yeah. We've gotten some amazing entries from people, but we want more. So send us stuff. Uh, go to conanexus.com slash news to find, uh, to, uh, to find all the rules and all that kind of stuff because it's, uh, it's important that you read the rules. And then uh, you know, send us uh, send us your best work, send us your best artwork or right. your best fan fiction, and tweet at us, and tweet at us, and tweet at us. do yeah. all that good stuff. And that thing stands though. Um, if you send us an invitation to like visit your settlements, mm -hmm. uh, that'd be something really fun to do, like for future streams as yes, well. Yes, like, we would love that. We uh, would love you to show. We're gonna us we're gonna get in touch with John Bain at least to have a. Yeah, to... he already invited us. So exactly to check out his stream. Yes. I'm gonna see if I can find someone. Yes, it's... Um, Someone smallish. Yeah, I was thinking that. So we can Let's see. Drop some some exiles uh, on them. Conan the Newbarian. Drop some exiles. The Newbarian. That sounds great, though. Yeah. Conan the Newbarian. Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's do it. So, as we like to do. Drop some exiles on his head. As we like to do, uh, we're gonna raid someone, and uh, after that, we're just gonna sign off. And uh, oh, oh, Nicole is Nicole's here. Nicole's in the chat. Finally. <laughs> Hello, Nicole. Hello, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we got this one, Nicole. We found someone. Yeah, we got someone. All right, let's do it. So, alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for We're watching. We're gonna close this off, and then everyone will just be pushed into uh, poor. Mark Kobe once chat. Hopefully he doesn't get a heart Hope, attack. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't get a heart attack. The last guy started shaking. <laughs> yeah, like I can't. So, so be nice, be nice, say hello. From yes, all be of nice, us. say hello. Tell them we sent you. Right. And uh, talk to you guys later. We love you. Bye. Bye. Mwah.